Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will summarize what we think are the three important rights that renters in California should know. Most of us rent our apartment or house, so, it's important to know what our rights are, as renters. Remember, this video is for educational purposes only. This isn't legal advice. Go to our website to read our recent blog and to learn even more, about laws that protect renters. Also, stay tuned for a bonus piece of information, and so we can tell you how you can have a chance to win a $50 Visa gift card. Now, on to the video. Renters are also called tenants, and California has some of the strongest tenant protection laws in the country. These laws are designed to ensure that tenants have a safe and livable, also called habitable, place to live. And, that they are not taken advantage of, by their landlords. Renters have three important rights in California. First, every tenant has the right to a habitable home. That basically means, it is against the law for a landlord to rent you a home that is falling apart or unsafe, based upon California building code standards. For example, a landlord must provide its tenants a home with utilities in good repair. Landlords must provide their tenants safe common areas. And, landlords are responsible for pest and vermin control on their rental properties. Also, if there is any repair request from the renter, the landlord must respond reasonably. In most cases, this reasonable time refers to 30 days since the repair was requested. If the home is not habitable, the tenant has a few options. First, the renter has the right to withhold rent. Second, the renter has the right to repair the problem themselves and deduct the cost from their rent. And finally, the renter has the right to move out and break the lease without penalty. The second right every renter in California has is the right to notice before entry. This means that landlords cannot just show up unannounced and come into your home. Renters have the right to privacy in their home. California law requires landlords to give renters 24 hours notice before entering the rental unit. Except, in cases of a real emergency. Take a minute to ask yourself this question. Do you want to learn even more about your rights as a renter? Then, go to our website at www.gpaclaw.com and read our recent blog on renters' rights. You'll also be able to get a free copy of an explanation of your rights as a California renter. Also, if you find value in this video, and you want a chance to win a $50 Visa gift card this week, please give this video a thumbs up, and comment on what legal subjects you want to see in the future. Please, share this video with your friends and family, or, even better, on your social media pages, because you never know who this information might help. Finally, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button, so you get updates when we post videos on legal topics that are relevant to you. Finally, please subscribe to all our social media platforms so you can get updates when we post videos about legal topics, relevant to you. We really appreciate it because it helps us to help others, know their legal rights as employees and individuals, living in California. Now, back to the video. Renters have the right to a fair hearing. This prevents landlords from retaliating against their tenants or violating their tenants' rights. For example, a landlord can't evict a tenant for complaining about the electrical problems in the house and requesting the problem be fixed. If a landlord takes any action against a tenant, such as evicting them, the tenant has the right to present their side of the story to a judge or arbitrator. The judge or arbitrator will then make a decision based on the evidence presented. And a bonus piece of information. Did you know that landlords are required to give you back your security deposit? It's true. Tenants are entitled to their security deposit within 21 days after they move out of their rental unit. However, there are two common reasons when a landlord may withhold all or part of the security deposit. The two common reasons are, one, covering unpaid rent, and two, deducting expenses for cleaning or repairs that come from extreme wear and tear. 
Landlords who deduct expenses from the security deposit must provide an itemized list of the repairs they did with those funds. Demand an itemized list from your landlord if they don't return your security deposit. If a landlord wrongfully withholds a security deposit, they might have to pay an expensive penalty to the tenant. We've introduced just a few of the important tenant laws in California. If you suspect your landlord is violating your rights as a tenant, contact an attorney, like Gateway Pacific Law Group. We can provide you a free consultation and assist you if your rights are in fact being violated. Stay informed. Stay empowered. And let's work together to hold slumlords accountable for their actions and ensure they provide habitable housing. Gateway Pacific Law Group is located in Long Beach, California. You can reach us at 562-485-6151. This video is for informational and educational purposes only and is not legal advice. Contact an attorney for a consultation if you believe anything discussed in this video may apply to you. Thanks for watching.